one, two, one, two, three. Hey everybody, how you doing? You might be wondering where I'm at. Well, first of all, I intended to get this video out a lot earlier today, but as fate would have it, wound up having to deal with a cyber issue at two o'clock in the morning, which kept me up until 7 or 30 in the morning. And I thought I'll get some sleep and got two hours and we get the idea. What does this have to do with CES? Everything. Because as much as I love CES Digital, there was one main problem. There was no there there. And first of all, I want to say this. I applaud what Gary Shapiro and his staff did in the short period of time that they had to do it. But as I understood, they were sort of like all of us. And this is, I completely understand, frozen by what happened, thinking that, in their case, not mine, oh, we'll get around this, they'll get over this, or maybe uh, the government, the Trump administration had promised billions to the hospitality industry in Las Vegas that never materialized. Uh, all that would happen, and it didn't. And so by the time September came around, they had to make a decision, and they did. So what we got was the best they could do on, on short reaction time. And from that perspective, I thought they did well. But there was no CES party list, right? There was no CES celebrity list, right? And for me, as a video blogger, what works for me is when I'm able to go around from different booths, different areas, and serendipitously find something that is of interest to you. For example, I was at Sands Expo, and as I mentioned, Sands Expo, I say rest in peace, Sheldon A. Adelson, who built it, and on the floor, headed to one meeting early, and to vlog about a company, and who do I pass by but a woman wearing a silver and black outfit. Kind of like a, a top and a skirt, right? And I say kind of because it changed colors. Before your eyes, black to white, uh, it was magnificent. And so, I stopped and vlogged it. And the rest was history. I even showed it to Mark Bedane of the Raiders because, well, silver and black, right? And the Raiders were moving to Las Vegas. Couldn't stop looking at the screen like, like that. Because that, that, that paper, it's called uh, liquid... Uh, paper, uh, I forgot the term for it, but it's a like a paper L L L LCD, a liquid crystal diode. Really neat, really neat stuff, you know? And the stuff that just stops you makes you go think, wow. That wowness factor, that wow factor can be captured to some degree in a video, uh, but as I just talk to you right but it really starts on the floor when you see it for yourself I thought how do I recapture my ability to make 100 videos a day with my phone online well it's hard because everyone doesn't present what they have the same way what I expected to see when I went to a company I won't name a company because I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to embarrass that company was a, a kind of a photo of their product or a video right in my face, right? And I didn't get that. And then they had you go into Microsoft Teams and yet it took you off page and it didn't work properly. Sometimes it didn't start up correctly, okay? The one objective that I really believe they were trying to achieve and I think Gary was trying to achieve was some kind of sense of community. They almost got it. But I think what they should have done is said, you know, what is it that, aside from the 
exhibitors that make CES. You know what it is. It's being able to have lunch with your friends, being able to see the same people you've seen years and years and years, like for my case at Valencell and um, Sony people. I've been to every Sony booth and I saw Sony this time. Loved what Sony did. But it didn't I mean, you know what I'm saying, okay? The question is, if they had more time, what should they have done? Second Life. Design the Las Vegas Convention Center as a virtual facility where you could walk in it, go to the same rooms, the same booths, everything. And that would give us something that we're missing. The booths. These booths are enormous. When you think of a booth, by the word, you think, oh, that's a small thing, right? No. The Intel booth, the Samsung booth, oh my god, the Sony booth, oh, get, oh, wow, okay? But you don't get that wow at all digital. There's no booth. Could it be replicated? Yes. Yes. We are in the time of virtual reality could be done. Charge a fee and since you're replicating the Las Vegas Convention Center, you know, give them a little money too, right? To the uh, Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. So I, those are my thoughts about CES. I, I temper it because for the same reasons that I miss it. I, I love the people like my friend Dan and, and People in the press office and Lydia, who's really been kind to of me, she always gives me these gadgets. Okay, I can't get a gadget from you, Lydia. I didn't see you. Um, she always has these tips or somebody that I should talk to, particularly if they're a black entrepreneur that ordinarily isn't getting the notice from the press that they need to get to present what they're doing. I appreciate that. Uh, all of that the keynotes. I even enjoyed the Ivanka Trump keynote, okay? And don't get on me about that, but I she killed it. She just did. I love what GMM did this year with their video. I love the Sony videos. But that's my point. I love the videos. It wasn't a room. It wasn't an ex other than the video itself. It wasn't this online experience. So I can't wait to go back to Las Vegas. I will say one thing I didn't miss, and I don't miss. I don't miss the sky-high, super gouge price hotels that come up. Las Vegas has got to really uh, work on that when it works on coming back. Now you would say supply and demand, I would say I agree with you, it means they need more hotel rooms. Anyway, um, that's my thoughts. Love to read yours in the comments. And thank you very much, Landis and Robin Carr, and everyone for, for asking me for my opinion. Now I'm, uh, I gotta go and, I gotta go and place the order here. <laughs> uh, hi, how you doing? I'm doing good, how about you? Oh, very well, one moment please. Yes, sir, thank you. Thank you. 